Welcome to Furniture Redesign. Hey everyone, um, it's time for another project. And because I'm here in the Midwest, I've been forced to come back in the house. So my husband says no, he's in the family room. So I'm forced to come upstairs to my bedroom. Luckily, I have a big enough bedroom that I can work on these two pieces. I have this old nightstand that is a commission piece. And I have this file cabinet. Both these pieces, I do want to glam up. Now here on the wooden piece, you can see it has lots of nicks and dings. But just by rubbing it, there is no damages that I can see. It just to be, needs to be smoothed out so that it could be painted without leaving marks. Now this I will be painting in the metallic silver. On the inside of the drawers, they are good. The hardware is gone already, but uh, the drawers do fit on the tracks, even though I haven't put them on the tracks. Now over here on the file cabinet, you can see there is lots of water damage and the drawers are in working, good working condition. I just need to smooth out this uh, imperfection on the top. And I want to add legs to the bottom of the file cabinet to raise it up four inches. So um, the pieces have been cleaned. If you When I opened up the drawers, you can see that. So I want to first take um, 200 grit sandpaper and I want to try to smooth out some of these scuffs on the top of the dresser. Again, I will be doing this on the inside. I'm going to try that 200 or 180 grit on the file cabinet and hopefully I can sand uh, out the water uh, marks. Now the larger piece here, I want to make it match a piece that I did for a client a couple years ago. So if you want to see how the two nightstand turn out, just keep watching. I'm going to get my sanding block and we'll be ready to sand. See you in a bit. Now I just want to pull the drawers out of the nightstand. The hardware has been removed and the tracks are in good condition. Now on the other piece, again, it is a file cabinet. The drawers don't come out. So I'm just going to get my drill and take the hardware off this piece. And now I can continue with the sanding. I'm scuff sanding the front of the dresser and then I'll continue to try to sand out some of the bubbles on the top. On my second piece, I raised it up and it has a curved bottom. I wanna straighten out the curve to make it more modern. So what I'm doing is taking a ruler and I just want to straighten this curve out. So I'm making my mark, bringing it all the way up to straighten the leg. And then I'll take my ruler and where it's curved, I'll go to the flat surface and I'll take that line all the way across. I'll do this on both ends. And here's a look at what I'm talking about. See the mark to straighten it out? And here it is on the other end. Now I'm ready to use my rotary tool. Now this tool has an angle blade 
and I'm going to use it to cut my wood. Okay, I'm a little out of focus on this end, but you'll see what I'm doing on the next end. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go away, clean up the sawdust because I am in my bedroom, and we're gonna sand this smooth. Now I didn't wanna pull out the electric sander, but I had to pull out this small one. And I wanna use a 80 grit sandpaper here, or 60 grit, and I want to smooth out the cut edge. <laughs> Now I'm just going to grab my sanding block and 180 grit sandpaper and I want to scuff sand my dresser. I will have to sand a little bit better or harder on the top of my dresser to smooth out some of those imperfections. Now I'm taking a damp cloth and I just want to wipe back everything before adding my first coat of primer. Now it's time for primer. I have my Zinger 1, 2, 3 and I want to apply this to both of my nightstands. And I'm starting upside down. Again, this will allow me to get all of those areas where you can't see, and then I'll flip it back up. I have one coat of primer on the top of my nightstand and two coats on the side. And I have two coats on the other piece. Now I'm gonna take this 240 grit sandpaper and I wanna make sure that there's no lumps or that everything is smooth on both my nightstands. And of course, I have to grab my damp cloth and wipe everything down. On today, I'll be using Modern Masters 
silver satin paint. Now, I won't be painting the top of either of the nightstands, but I will be painting the sides and the drawers. I will be doing something extra or special to the top and also the drawer fronts. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and get it painted. And I want to show you the piece that I have to make this nightstand match. Now this piece I did about two and a half years ago, and I have to make a matching piece to it for my client. So I will leave a link to this video in the description box below if you wanna check it out. I have my short handle angle brush here, and I wanna brush on my first coat of paint. Now on this drawer, um, I'm doing something in the middle here so I don't have to paint, and that's why you only see bits of it prime. The first coat is added and now I'm just taking a 240 grit sandpaper and lightly sanding down my piece before adding the second coat. Now sanding in between is key when using a metallic paint. Metallic paint sends, tends to uh, have a smeary like effect so you want to make sure you smooth out every layer of paint. Once my pieces are lightly sanded, I go ahead and take a damp cloth and wipe the pieces down. And I add my second coat of paint to both of my nightstands. I stored my paintbrush in a Ziploc bag and now I'm ready to start that second coat. I did fill in the hardware holes and sand them back. I'm gonna let the second coat of paint dry and come back and work on the drawers. I am back and it's time to work on the drawers. I want to use resin on this larger drawer, but it's going to be difficult because of the way it's made. So I have my painter's tape and I want to use it and go around the curves of the drawer in a way so that my resin don't ooze out. So I'm thinking I can fold down my tape and crease it around the edge. I'll make a fake corner with the tape so that my resin won't spill out.
per instructions on my resin, I have mixed three ounces of the resin and three ounces of the hardeners. I mixed it for five minutes and then I'll be ready to pour it on my drawers. So here are my drawers and they're all taped off and I'm ready to pour my resin. I'm gonna pour three ounces on the top part of the drawer and three ounces on the bottom part of the drawer. I'll use this popsicle stick to make sure that it's all spread out. Now it's time to add the glitter. I have a fine glitter, I wanna add that first. Then I ordered some resin crushed glass and I did get this from Amazon. And this is what it looks like. Then I have this confetti glitter. Also, I got from Amazon. I add this to the dresser drawers. Making sure that my tape is still firmly attached to those curves and also those corners are holding tight and not spilling out. And then I have a last little glitter. It's a confetti glitter as well, but it's a little smaller. And I add this to the dresser drawers as well. I will leave a link to all of the materials used in this video in the description box below. I use the popsicle stick to make sure that my resin is moved to the corners. I'll let this dry overnight and we'll work on the other nightstand. For this nightstand, I pulled out my Mod Podge. And this is the Mod Podge in the high gloss. I have this small brush and I am going to add Mod Podge to this container and I am going to brush it on top of my drawer. We're gonna start with the bottom drawer. Then I'll do the same thing that I did on the dress on the nightstand drawer. I'm going to start adding that glitter. I'm going to sprinkle on the fine glitter first and add the confetti and so on and so on. I'm gonna get the other two drawers done and let them dry. The paint is dry on my nightstand and you can see why I wasn't trying to paint it to perfection. But now I'm going to use this contact paper to the top. The first thing I wanna do is measure about how much I'm going to use. I use my scissors to cut it away. Then I'll take the factory edge of my contact paper and attach it to the straight edge of the dresser. 
once I have my paper down, I'll use my X-Acto knife to cut away the excess. I'm going to continue cutting the edge of the contact paper and we'll come back for the next step. I had the contact paper on the top and now I want to take these mosaic tiles and I want to do the base of my dresser. So these are peel and stick. They actually have glue on them, but I think I want to add a little bit more. I'm going to give my E6000 as well. Now I just want to press down, make sure that my glass or my mirror is attached to the base. I'm going to continue with the other sides and we'll come back for the next step. Now I have these acrylic mirrors. Now they are covered with a plastic film and I had to cut them to, down to size. They were six by nine and I used my paper cutter. All I did was line them up on my paper cutter and I cut off, I want to say about a half inch that I cut off. And hopefully it fits. So I'm going to go ahead, take my drawer. Now you see why I didn't want to paint it, but accidentally painted it. But I'm about to apply the mirror. So I want to check it first to make sure that the mirrors fit. Now on the back side of the mirror, there is a sticky tape and it's the 3M so it's really really a strong adhesive so I'm not going to add anything else I'm just going to stick it to uh, the drawer. Now I just want to go get my hot knife and poke through the hole that's already there to make sure that I could add my hardware and I'll see you for the next step. These are the legs that I chose for the bottom of my file cabinet. I've already placed them where I want them to be. Now I just need to take the screws and screw them to the bottom of the cabinet. a look at the hardware that I purchased. I purchased these acrylic pulls and I did pick these up from um, Amazon and I'm going to add this to uh, the dresser. They came five in a pack and I'll use the other three on the file cabinet. Now I just want to drill those holes. I've already marked where they should be and I'm just drilling straight through the acrylic. 
you want to do this quick if your acrylic is thick you would just use a little water to make sure that it doesn't overheat I'm gonna go ahead get the hardware on my pieces and we'll be back for the reveal My glam nightstands are complete. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now there were a few challenges with the resin spilling out over the side, but I cleaned it up as best I could, filed it back, and by looking at it, it is absolutely gorgeous. Let me know, what do you think? The mirror mosaic tile around the bottom is absolutely stunning and it works well with the acrylic mirrors on the drawers. I added these uh, handles or jewel handles on it and they are stunning. Now this is the reason I cut away that curve on the bottom of the nightstand to add my mirror tiles. And here's a look at the file cabinet gone nightstand. Once again, this one is absolutely beautiful. Very, very pretty if you needed a smaller nightstand. And look at those feet. Lifted up about four inches. And the acrylic handles. Now these were the pulls left over from the nightstand. Off camera, you can see where I added the mosaic tiles around the sides of the nightstand. Again, pouring that resin was challenging because there was nothing on the side to hold the resin in. If you're out there watching and you're not a subscriber, now's the time to do so. You can hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell so you'll be aware of all of my upcoming videos. I want to say thank you all for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye now.